Yo, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome on back to the Jersey channel, where we discuss no financial advice because I'm not a financial advisor, and we dive into some pictures on the internet on the Solana blockchain. I hope you guys are having a great day, and if you are, please go ahead and leave a comment down below what you're doing with your day, what you've been up to, what your achievements are looking like. Smash the like button, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and let's hop into today's video on some upcoming NFT projects. I do want to start this video off with a super early alpha call on a project called Zakira, which is dropping, uh, we don't know when, uh, we have a couple sneak peeks we have no discord and we have no website either by the looks of it this is going to be an anime based and anime inspired pfp project over on the solana blockchain dropping us some very cool looking sneak peeks and scenery artwork and some very cool looking pfps honestly love the color palette that we're seeing at the current moment in time i do love the line and art direction behind this one little side note i do have to touch up on is i see how the body and the face are kind of like structured through this like raspy looking lines but the hair seems very clean and pinpoint so kind of different again we kind of see the same thing here on this sneak peek the skin the face the body the shirt the clothing all seems very rough and then the hair seems rather clean and simple either way guys keep these on your radar 42,000 followers over on twitter and let me know what you think down below okay quick little interruption zakira does have a discord they do have a website and they do have a brand new twitter as you can see this one is the zakira nft at they do have the discord and website linked here and a lot more engagement and activity over on the twitter account so uh, i do apologize for that i was on the wrong twitter account you know they should have it linked or something in the main but it's all good dude they do have a zoe map as well streetwear merchandise partnerships utilities and value but again i do still think this roadmap and this project is relatively early just based off what we're seeing here as it's pretty basic and bland so i am looking forward to see what they're bringing in the near future i do want to dive into a project called the sovereign building up a 10k supplied project over on solana giving us some beautiful looking 3d inspired chess pieces this project has been building up its ties as well with 130,000 followers over on their twitter page a very cool and interactive website as well well, bringing up a premium 3D collectible for NFT and chess enthusiasts. If we got any grandmasters watching today's video, let me know down below. I'm a 2100 rated, so like, what's up? This is going to be a staking modeled NFT project as well as an upgradable feature throughout their chess pieces where you'll be able to use these, upgrade them kind of in a dead god matter, and earn greater rewards down the line as well. As you can see, we do have upgradable pieces here, which do look very, very clean. So this is going to be a 10,000 supplied collection, being 10,000 pawns that are mintable, and throughout this, you'll be able to upgrade them down the line in the future for the kings, queens, bishops, rooks, and knights. Each of these five sovereigns, being the kings, queens, bishops, rooks, and knights, will have an upgradable feature where you get a random one of these premium pieces when burning your pawn and receiving one of the five sovereigns for 1,000 of their tokens. As it shows here, we do see the attention to detail behind these 3D modeled chess pieces, and I think they all look very clean. I believe these are going to be the more upgraded ones. Throughout this one, staking your pawn, you'll be earning 10 SQRE tokens every single day. And when you go ahead and turn this into a sovereign, you'll be able to earn 25 to 35 SQR a day through this upgraded feature. The pawns can be upgraded to the Sovereign with 1,000 other SQRE tokens. Pawn will be randomly promoted into any of the five Sovereign factions, will be King, Queen, Rook, Knight, or Bishop. As mentioned earlier, this is going to be a 10k supply minted throughout their pawn pieces. Each of these can be upgraded through their SQRE token, through staking, to one of the premium sovereign pieces down the line. Separating pawns from other pieces, rooks from knights, kings and queens, you know, having that top tiered premium. Again, this is going to be a 3D rendered chess inspired collection behind it. Something the team does stress here is that this art is not cheap. They put a lot of time, resources and money into creating these 3D rendered chess pieces. I think they look very cool as well. I mean, hey, 3D art is not my style, but I do love this. It's not really a PFP in my opinion, but it still gives you that little like a appeal and attention to it. The roadmap is going to be as follows, the mint and the reveal, the pawning, the upgrade to the sovereigns, the sovereigns market, IRL events, Project Red, which could be a future expansion. Another huge key factor behind the Sovereigns is a fully doxxed LinkedIn professional looking team here. All their faces, all their names, all their screen names, and again, all their previous work. Click on the LinkedIn button and you'll be able to see what's in store for each of these personnels. Let me know what you guys think down below. Are you fucking with this or not? Also, we have some Patreon whitelist spots given away for the Sovereign down below, 10 bucks a month. And uh, we have some sneak peeks, some very rough drafts behind the project I am dropping for this Alpha Pass with greater utility, huge lore inspired as well. Let me know your thoughts. All right, so I do have one or two more projects for you guys. The first one that I do want to go ahead and talk about is going to be called Fruits. Spelled F-O-R-R-O-T-S. 
F-O-R. Fuck. Fruits. This is going to be a project minting on July 21st on the Bitfrost launchpad. Is this going to be the first Bitfrost launchpad project we have on Solana? I know Shishoko was supposed to be on there, but there were some complications. And we do have a couple of roadmap sneak peeks here as well, with I think a four phase roadmap being over in their Discord. This account is being insanely engaging and insanely active over on their Twitter. They are dropping this thick line, cool cats, doodles, kind of sort of artwork work over on Solana. And I mean, yo, it is super duper simple. I mean, this stuff right here is insanely simple, yet appealing in a certain way. We can see these things. We got oranges, apples, pears, fucking lemons. There's, it's just fruits, bro. It's literally all it is. These are fruits, drop it on Bitfrost. So they obviously have some sort of trust or they've proven their worthiness to be on there. Or you have some cool artwork as well throughout their scenery, their marketing and their branding artwork as well. So coming onto the roadmap, it does state a a lot of this is behind good vibes, good intentions, and overall community-driven, you know, event sort of project. So here they do state a little bit of a sneak peek. If you hold four different fruits, you may get something special. This is not confirmed. It's a little play on words, and it could be greater utility or greater rewards down the road. Airdrops, IRL events, good vibes, and just an overall community project. They are dropping, however, their own juice brand and smoothie brand as well. This is going to be some sort of a real-life online business, and they plan to make it available in your retail local shops. So there's gonna be a branding play as well behind food and beverages, but they're also working on a merch service as well. So they will have merchandise. It is a brandable community play, but they will be helping other people throughout their ventures of creating merchandise, distributing it, and just overall creation. So I mean, yo, when the Jersey merch comes out, might have to hit up the Fruits team. Yo, if you're watching this, guys, hit me in the DMs. What's going on? But I fuck with this, guys. I love the vibes and the vision behind the project. It's super fucking simple. And that's all I gotta say, bro. It's super simple. It's super cute. And uh, they even have memes here as well. They, they're funny, bro. I fuck with this. Next up, we have Dummies. 44.9 thousand followers overall on their Twitter. Just about 45,000. Hopping over to the Discord. We can see it's gonna be a one sold mint price. 3,500 supply. July 20th with a fully doxed team. This is gonna be mintable on Soul Port Launchpad as well, which I really do like. So shout out to the Tom. Shout out to Tail Robotic. But it seems Dummies is creating a racing game. Some sort of web thing three maybe a play to earn something like that but we do have some very cool sneak peeks as well this seems to be like very rough drawn line work and i really fucking love it i think it's super creative i think it's super new and i just love the way it looks it's pretty chaotic in my own opinion i think there's a lot going on in these pfps but i think overall they just look really freaking clean at the same exact time and then we do have the dummy map which is going to be the road map we have the community building closed discord dow giveaways and pump spiral on partnerships my bad public discord main first trailer of dummies racing which we did just get first demo of the racing game and hunting rewards beta test for the game as well staking platform will be introduced there is going to be the release of the game and there's going to be the marketplace as well so holding one of these nfts will get you into the racing game allow you to play it and you'll get airdrops of the racing cars this is a little bit more longer term as well so please keep in mind that it's coming up this week so do your own research check up on these projects for yourself hope you guys enjoyed patreon's down below 10 bucks a month and uh yo go follow me on twitch twitch.tv slash jpeg jersey we're going live on there pretty often gambling gaming doing the thing chilling out talking to people answering questions be up boys have a great day have a great life see you all later Peace out.